Thanks for tuning in to the Headphone Samurai. Today we're going to check out Schur's brand new flagship ear canal, the SE846. So this is the new Shure SE846. This is a quad driver in your phone. Uh, there are definitely some special unique things about this earphone though uh, that we'll chat about briefly here. We just got a sample of these in yesterday actually. Uh, they're not released to the market quite yet, uh, but they should be shipping fairly shortly. Uh, but we just got this demo in and been listening to it quite a bit here for the past day or so. Uh, first thing, that's kind of interesting on these is the way that they uh, got the bass response out of them. They actually created a low pass filter which is um, basically kind of a channel that they created with a bunch of stainless steel plates uh, that if you were to stretch out is about four inches long and it effect effectively helps roll off um, upper bass frequencies so that you just get true bass, uh, sub bass impact out of the low frequency drivers. So uh, kind of a neat acoustic design to get a really uh, effective and uh, non-interfering low frequency response. Another unique trait of the 846 would be the adjustable high frequency filters that you can put in the nozzle here. It comes with this little tool so you can take off the metal ring and the metal nozzle and then inside you will insert these little uh, plastic filters. There's three different styles. Uh, the neutral one, which just has a basic overall kind of flat sound. Uh, there is also a brightness boost one, which boosts from 1 to 8K. Uh, so kind of a high mid boost in the presence region area. Uh, and then also a high cut or a warmer sounding one, which will cut right in that same 1K to 8K region um, by about 2 to 3 dB. I think ultimately I was happiest with the neutral filter, although at times with the neutral filter I felt like I could use a little more brightness. Um, the brighter filter didn't really help that out for me because I was kind of hoping for a little more super kind of upper frequency airiness or brightness. Um, and the high frequency filter just boosts in the kind of presence region. Um, so anyway, I just kind of like the neutral filter the most. Overall, sonically, these are kind of interesting. Um, I think they're a pretty nice sounding earphone. They're definitely aggressive in the bass. Um, so if you're somebody that likes a little more neutral sound, these might be a little bit aggressive uh, in the low end, but it's a pretty fun bass response. I do feel like sometimes it can be a little overly strong, uh, but it really gives you a true kind of subwoofer type sound, which is what they were really trying to go for in this design. Uh, so sometimes it could use maybe a little more articulation in the bass response, but overall very fun. Um, if you listen to rock or metal or hip-hop, totally gonna like that low-end response. I was having a lot of fun with metal on these phones. Um, getting into a little more pristine kind of recordings, uh, I could maybe use a little more air out of the Shures in the uppermost frequencies, but Overall, they're a pretty inviting earphone. They kind of remind me of the 650s a little bit in a way, the Sennheisers. Um, just a warm, you know, inviting sound that's not going to totally beat you up in the high frequency range. Uh, compared to the Sennheisers, the IE800, the other high end ear canals that are out at the moment, I think these are a little nicer in that upper frequency range. Although they don't sound quite as detailed and kind of airy, uh, they're just a little easier to listen to and, and less fatiguing over time. So ultimately, this is the best earphone that Shure's ever produced. I definitely think uh, a much nicer kind of upper frequency tone than some of the other Shure's. I just get a little more natural character out of these, much more like a full-size phone. Um, definitely expect a serious bass response. Uh, the price point on these is $995, so right up there at $1,000. Um, but these are definitely a good one to consider in that higher price range if you don't want to go with a custom. I think that there are certain things about these I prefer over the Sennheisers and um, I don't know, definitely a personal preference kind of thing. Uh, not quite up there with some of the custom models that we have currently, but overall an excellent piece. Uh, very impressed and definitely been waiting a long time for sure to release this earphone. The A46 does use the same detachable cable that the other Shures use, so all the mic cables 
and that kind of thing are definitely interchangeable on these guys. Um, and a removable cable is definitely a nice feature down the road. Uh, I do like the metal nozzle. That's uh, very nice because we have had issues with those breaking in the past on the Shures. Uh, so overall they seem like a very durable earphone. So the shell on these is definitely a little bit bulkier than some of the other Shures, but they've got a lot of stuff packed in here, so that's understandable. Um, but overall it still just fits right in the ear, nestles pretty nicely. Uh, so these are a comfortable fitting earphone, and they fit just like the other Shures, minus being a little bit bigger. Um, so, excellent product. Check these out at headphone.com, the Shure SE846, and we'll see you next time on the Headphone Samurai.